give him a sweet praise give him a commitment to, to, to all that he has done for you tie everything around you to praise tie everything you are going through to praise praise is a good vehicle it's a vehicle that never breaks down on the way when you enter the vehicle of praise your life is glowing you go to god you are acceptable to god yes enter his gate with thanksgiving enter his court with praise angels of god 24 7 they give him praise they say worthy is the lamb worthy is the lamb yes glory and honor and praise be unto our god forever and forever and you are also going to say to the lord that the blood of jesus will answer for you whatever you have done wrongly that the accuser may be using to block your force of prayer today that the mercies of god will step into your story whatever we have done as a group whatever we have done as a nation whatever we have done in the world that may be repel, repelling or repulsive to the glory of god that the blood of jesus our advocate he will step for us he will be for us he will forgive us and cleanse us from our sins and iniquities glory to god we know that god will always answer us we have that assurance that assurance is the reason for our joy can we say to god whatever sin the devil is bringing up as a false evidence appearing real to us false evidence appearing real on our matter on our family on our nation that the blood of jesus will cleanse it he will cleanse it so that our prayers will fly our prayers will glow that our prayer will be acceptable to god father we thank you glory be to god in jesus acceptable name we have prayed daddy thank you for being who you are oh lord we praise you from the bottom of our heart that you give us a heart that is committed to your cause is a wonder in this godless world thank you for not allowing us to aspire the devil has thought a long time before now will be no more no more in service of god no more in faith in god no more in things that promote the kingdom of god but you prove the devil a big liar and that's why we are still on our feet standing today sometimes discouragement comes like a flood wanting to sweep us off our feet but we thank you because you are with us emmanuel the one who is always with his own people say no i am with you even to the end of the age thank you for ever living presence of the holy spirit and therefore we pray today in the name of jesus as we touch down on our prayers there will be a vibration of glory in each and every family here represented in each and every family that will be connected in the name of jesus nothing good will expire in our story and i also decree in the name of jesus our nation will be in peace yes our journey will be in progress and in the name of jesus christ no matter the cloud of wickedness the cloud of evil the strategy of wicked people the will of god will be done and we say they will find out amen daddy please as we go into your word today flash to our heart assurance courage fulfillment no one of us will be sick emotionally will not be sick spiritually will not be sick physically we are not going to be sick our finances will not be sick rather we will glow for the unborn generation to celebrate thank you for giving us the opportunity in jesus lively name we have prayed so we jam our two hands so the king of kings and the lord of lord amen and amen i say good morning to everyone in jesus name i say good afternoon to some in jesus name and i also say good evening to some in jesus name can we please wherever you are you can pick up your bible and let us read together in psalm 106 psalm 106 10 verses of scriptures on rapid successions the beauty of this is that you read and you hear what you are reading 
The beauty of this is that you are, you are joining the company of those who love God. The wonder of this is that God flashes something to you that will make you to continually become accepted. So be with other people of God. Psalm 106 from verse 1 through to verse 10. I want to believe you are there already. One, two, three, read as I read. Go. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. Oh, visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory in thy inheritance. We have seen with our fathers, we have committed iniquities, we have done wickedly, our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remember not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoke him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also and was dried up. So he led them through the depths, as through the wilderness, the last verse, and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. Praise the Lord. This is a spiritual snapshot. Snapshot to tell you that God is still God despite all. Now we may not be able to show forth all is praise, but we will try. Can we give it a try to show up part of his praise? Because there is a big question. He says, Who can show forth all his praise? Where do you want to start from? Is it when you are in pregnancy, you are not conscious of what is happening to you, that God protected you? How do you want to show forth all his praise? When you had an accident and every other person there was wounded and you came out naked, How do you want to show forth all his praise when the doctor gave you wrong medication and yet you are alive? Tell me how do you want to show forth all his praise at the time when everything was scattered around you and you feel like it doesn't worth it to be alive again. And today, you are still on your feet. Can we say to God, thank you, sir. Thank you for all. Unto him. The devil wanted to give you a full stop. But God says, my son, I am giving you permission to flow. How can you show forth all his praise? Madam, if you are honest, you, can, you, you will know that there is a shortfall. But try, try, try. Those who hated you and, 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 and tongue lash you, the Lord made them to crash before you. How do you want to show forth all his praise? When you are misled by wicked people, and you believe them that they were telling you the truth but this is you can we say to God thank you can you say to God thank you how do you want to thank God enough when some people decided to take your name to harbor homes to lock you and block you to make your life stagnant forever but instead of you to be stagnant, you are still moving forward. How do you want to show forth all his praise? When 
those who should see you are not seeing you. And your matter was deteriorating. But suddenly, something picked you up from where you are. And now you are now a high flyer. Sir, let's give it to him. If we cannot show forth all his praise, we can show forth part of his praise. Do something. In whatever language, no error. Do something. In whatever form, no error. Do something. Too many things around you you cannot explain. But one thing is clear. There is a platform of praise. Look back into your snapshots. Look into the technology of your progress. Can you explain it? Sir, can you explain it? Madam, if you are honest, you will give God the praise. Vibrate before the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. I may not give you all the praise that is required, but I will try. Madam, try, try, try. Look ahead. There are quite a number of things that God says he's going to do for you. While you are yet alive, your testimony will be matured. Give him praise. Can we say thank you to God? Give thanks unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you for the good you have received. For the good. The good. The good. The good. Every day good. Every week good. Every month good. How many good have you received? Multiply by the number of years on earth. Good each day. On rapid succession. Good. On strategic occasion. Good. In the house of God. Good at your office. Good health. Good friends. Yes, good thinking. Yes, good neighbor. Somebody who did not know you and they did good to you. God sent them to you. God sent these people to you. Why you know that God sent it to you? It will have been a serious backside. But the Lord was good. You are the Israel of God. Praise ye the Lord. There are quite a number of things that is crying saying, you didn't thank God for my presence in your life. You did not. Can you say, Lord, I thank you for the visible good, invisible good, yes, long good, short good, yes, local good, international good. Brother, give God praise over extensive goodness. That you are just swimming to the east, swimming to the west, swimming to the south, swimming to the north. Good. Some people never have it that way. Yeah, they are brilliant more than you. Some people never had it that way. Yeah, they are more connected than you do. They are born into wealth. They grew in wealth. But at the end of the day, Disaster has always been every now and then. Sir, can you give God praise for the good over your children? Can the good over them? Can the good over your family? Are you counting them? Count your blessing. Your blessings are your good. Don't count the frustration the devil volleyed at you. The devil wanted to weaken you, to blacklist you. But the good of God was the eraser, the cleaner, and he clean it off. It's a good thing that the Lord has cleaned your name off from the bad record. Are you giving God the praise? Let's do it committedly. It doesn't matter those who are swallowing it and they don't want to do nothing. Yes. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In Jesus' goodly name, we have prayed. You know, in verse 5, he said that I may see the good 
of your chosen one. If God has chosen you, <laughs> there's an attachment of good. You may not look like one, sir. Madam, I will assure you there's an attachment of good with you. At the right time, one person will show up on your platform and forever bye-bye to backwardness. He says that I may see the good. You are going to pray for vision to see the good. Practical goodness. Not just a metaphorical good, but practical goodness. For the rest of this month, good of God. For the rest of this year, good, whatever good represents. Good health, good connection, good testimony, good. That I may see good. So you are going to pray, Lord, make me to see good. According to your word, make me to see good. I won't see disaster. Disaster will not see me. Yes, I will not see evil. Evil will not see me. Yes, I will not see backwardness. But I want to see the good. Make me to see the good. Because you have chosen me for something. Whoever you have chosen, they must see good. Make me to see the good. Whatever I want to struggle with your good in my life, delete them. Oh God. Hit the delete button. Oh God. Whatever I want to contend with my good. Sister, you better pray for yourself. What you pray for yourself matters more than what anybody prays for you. Your, the vibration of your spirit man must be very committed. Make me to see the good in the land of the living. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus' goodly name, we have prayed. And there's a powerful prayer point there. He said in verse 4. He said, remember me, O oh Lord, with the favor that you carry to your people. You are going to pray that the Lord will carry favor into your effort this week. Amen. I am not changing what the Bible says. It says, <laughs> link me up with the favor that you bear unto your people. Meaning God carry favor to my life. You know, evil people, what they do is that they carry sacrifice at the crossroad. One Now, but this is not sacrifice. He said, carry favor to my life. Oh, this week, oh, according to your word, it is possible. Carry favor to my life. Don't leave me to my effort alone. Carry your favor to my life. Yes. Whatever it takes for you to carry it, Lord, I give you permission. Please carry your favor to my life. Remember, prayer is a spiritual investment. Be sure you invest enough to the glory of the name of the Lord. He that asketh receiveth. Lord, carry favor to my life. Don't leave me alone by your spirit, flatten every satanic activity in my family. Whatever that the devil is struggling with, flatten it out and carry favor on my matter. Favor is a jumbo strategy. It's a strategy that God is the owner. He alone knows it. Carry your favor into my children. That was what exactly God did to Abraham's life. Not only the life of Abraham, also to the life of the children of Abraham. He said, whoever misbehave around them, I will, I, will, I will beat them. But my faithfulness will still continue with the children of David. That is what God is saying. Carry your faithfulness to my life. Don't leave me alone. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. He rebuked the Red Sea. He did what? <laughs> what was the effect of the rebuke? Red Sea dry before God's people. We are going to pray, God, you will repeat that assignment to on my matter. Whatever is standing as a Red Sea, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Dry up 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Whatever stand for, let's see. Before me, in the name of Jesus, dry up. Whatever is standing as a red sea before my children. Whatever is standing as a red sea before this nation, Nigeria. Let them dry up. He rebuked the red sea and they dried. Are you praying that the red sea will dry before you? When God says red sea is, is enough. Whatever represents the Red Sea, let them dry up in the name of Jesus. Be sure you pray. Yes. Red Sea, you are not meant to continue. You must dry. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' special name, we are praying. He also led them through the depths. Through the what does it mean? Depth, meaning koto. Leading them through the depth, the pit. He led them. They didn't fall. Many people you meet in life, many of them are terrible depth. You don't know who they are, but God must lead you. God must do what? You are going to pray that the Lord Almighty will lead you through all the depths before you. Depths. Yes, death. Those who are those who are satanic, uh, 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 bottomless pit, that they will not succeed to cover you up. There are those who are satanic pit, bottomless pit. Lord, lead me so that I don't fall into their tricks. Can we pray in the name of Jesus that this nation will never fall into the bottomless pit that 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 the devil has organized for this nation? We will not fall. Of course, you know that the time when the COVID was coming in, there were some people who have prophesied. They said they will be picking dead body on the highway as they are picking flies. But the Lord did not allow. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus that God will lead you. You are not going to perish in the death. Your children will not perish in the death. This nation will not perish in the death. The glow of the Lord will rest upon our effort. Be sure you are praying. Your testimony will be part of the story. Yes. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. That in this nation, there is not going to be a, a backward um, achievement. We will come out of this debt to the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' helpful name, we have prayed. He said he saved them from the hand of him that hated them. It's possible you may not know those who hate you. You may not know. Only a few. You just know one all over a hundred of what hates you. But if you know who God is, he knows how to save you. They want to capture today. It is yesterday they go and capture. It's part of the help of God. So you are going to pray in the name of the Lord that the Lord will help me. Lord, please help me. From the grip, from the attack of those who hate my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, please save me. The same way you save the children of Israel. Save me, oh God. Save me, oh God. Madam, be sure you pray. From situation that hates your life. From condition that hates your family. Kasetamboramashiba. Rekete sete yebo kapori babo seria. Are you praying? That the Lord will save you from the hand of those who hate your life, those who hate you for your achievement, those who hate you for your progress, those who hate you for what God is using you for. Lord, please save me from them. Don't close your mouth, vibrate your voice, clear your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God is not nervous. Speak up. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes, I am delivered from the hand of my haters. Make it personal. Declare it from the hand of my haters. In the name of the Lord, I'm delivered. I will no longer go back to, to Egypt. I will not go back to distraction. 
to the glory of the Lord. My brother, you remember how your, your father used to pray? You remember the way your mom used to pray? Can't you link up with the force of that prayer so that your life can be meaningful? Be part of the story to the glory of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. In Jesus' faithful name, we have prayed. Now, what your fathers did not understand, you are going to pray for understanding of it. He says in verse 7, our father understood not your wonders. So you are going to pray for spiritual understanding. Spiritual what? Sometimes when you see your life fail, 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 fail. Don't conclude yet. Oh. At the end of the fail, it's excellent. Because sometimes it can give you an aircraft that will dodge the radar. Those who are watching you they are watching because they want to bring your plane down. But it will make your plane to flow at a very low level. So they can't see it. You yourself, you are saying, why am I not flying very high? Why am I not flying? For you say, shut up. Keep on going. When, by the time you come to the final whatever destination, you will see their excellent is already installed. So you are going to pray that the Lord will give you understanding of the ways. The way is dealing with your matter. Give me understanding, Lord. Yes. Give me understanding so that the devil will not succeed to cause me to expire. Many people are expiring because they don't understand the workings of God. I will not expire. I will understand the workings of God to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are you praying? Be sure you are praying. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Our Father understood not thy wonders. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You will repray that prayer in a different dimension. I left teacher training college in 1983. Praise the Lord. Amazingly, some two days ago, I received a call. One of my teacher that time, you know what he said? He said, I foresaw that you are going to be a pastor. And I asked myself, how can a mass teacher see that the student will become a pastor? Question mark. When you foresaw it, you didn't tell me now. Praise the Lord. He said, don't worry, my pastor. I will come and see you. You are going to pray that God will give you understanding of your life understanding of his intervention on your children. God will give you understand. Lord, please give me understanding. Do not leave me the way I am. Give me understanding of your workings. In the name of Jesus Christ, give me understanding of how I will walk until I will arrive at where you are sending me in life. Be sure you are praying. The Lord Almighty will do that to honor your life. He will do it. Is the one who has called you. My brother, you won't fall away from that glory. I can assure you, you are not going to fall off. Your best will see the wonders of God. Your best will see the wonders of God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Can you allow us to read from Daniel chapter 4? Daniel chapter 4, be seated on this one. Daniel chapter 4, the readings will be from verse 24, and I'm going to read through to verse 26. It says, this is interpretation. O king, and this is the decree of the most high, which is come upon my lord the king. That they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. And they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till you know that is most high ruleth in the kingdom 
of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. The last verse. And we are asked, they commanded to leave the storm of the tree roots. Thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee after, only after that you have known that heaven do what? Heaven is a ruler. You are going to decree upon the king of wickedness that has been passing decree of oppression upon your life. King of evil in the name of Jesus. This is the decree of the most high that they will drive you. Let the force of heaven drive you off. All evil kings settling upon my story. They, they are driving you out. You are not completing your tenor. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? According to that word. That the most high is saying. You this evil king. They shall drive you out. Out of your dwelling place. You will be staying with the beast of the field. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you drive out all satanic king. All satanic dominion. Dominating over your economy. Dominating over your effort. Ruling with brutality. Over your progress in life. Yes. According to the word of the Lord. They shall drive you out. They are driving you out. Every king of wickedness. I announce today. According to the word of the Lord. They are driving you out. The force of God is driving you out. In the name of Jesus. You lose your throne. Because of the oppression you have introduced to my life. You lose your throne. Can you open your mouth and declare. King of wickedness. You are not completing your tenor. You are not completing your opp oppression. In the name of Jesus. So you may know. That heavens. Do rule. So you may know. That heaven. Do rule. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you may know. That the most high. He rule in the kingdom of men. All oppressors. Oppressing us. One way. Another way. In the name of Jesus, they shall drive you out. Are you praying? Prophesy. All the king of evil that are there, dominating, ruling with brutality, ruling with insensitivity, they shall drive you out. According to the word of the Lord. Are you opening your mouth? Pray the Bible way. The Lord is an intelligent God. Is an intelligent ruler he rule in the kingdom of men he give to whoever he will in the name of jesus the lord take that kingdom away from you he take that kingdom away from you in the name of jesus christ thank you father glory be to the name of the lord in jesus name we pray meaning that heaven can give you a kingdom can you rise up on your feet? Heaven can give you what? Hey, you are going to pray, I'm available, Lord. Release your kingdom into my life. Now, I don't want you to limit it to the fact of being a physical king. It's more than that. God can give you an, a financial kingdom. God can give you a spiritual kingdom. Favor itself is a kingdom. Yes or no? Long life is a kingdom. If they fight you and fight you and fight you and fight you, all the people that are fighting you, every one of them become expired. And you are still fresh. And you are still what? And you are still fresh. 
battle is going on against you. You didn't know. They only give you the outcome of the battle that you have won. It has happened concerning our story in camp. Years ago, I had a revelation. In that revelation, I saw that Atlantic Ocean was coming. Was coming to come and just carry us away. All my people, they were all running. Just let us go into the auditorium. I mean, auditorium. Some say, let us go inside the house. Some people say, let us climb. I said, no. In that revelation, I saw that they gave me a shovel. Just from heaven. With the shovel in my hand, I started using the shovel to carry the sand to fight Atlantic Ocean. Well over 18 years ago. I did not know there's a litigation going on. I didn't know at all until last month. The news came that we have won the case. Nobody has ever called us one day that anything was going on. It was only the outcome that they say, okay, this is it too. I say, wow. So you can win a battle without raising a single finger. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus that you will not need to fight. God will fight all your battles in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, fight my battle in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, he said they shall drive thee out. Yes, angel of God, drive evil people out. Angel of God, drive oppressors of your life out to fight your battle and give you the victory and hand over a kingdom to you. Lord, hand over kingdom to my life. Hand over kingdom to my children. Kingdom of progress. Kingdom of joy. Kingdom of breakthrough. Kingdom of peace. Kingdom of long life. Lord, hand it over unto me. He that asketh receiveth. To him that knocketh it shall be opened. The Lord is handing over kingdom unto you. That kingdom will never fail. That kingdom will never fall. That kingdom will be acceptable. That kingdom is the story. The story of peace and progress. It's the story of joy. That kingdom is the kingdom of of power. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. In Jesus lovely name we have prayed Amen. judges pick your bible let's read it together judges number seven your prayers are working i i believe it your answers will be coming not in trickles but be coming on bountiful harvest are you saying a live amen to that we all are going to read from verse one through to verse seven on rapid succession Judges chapter 7 from verse 1. 1, 2, 3, go. Then Jerubal, who is Gideon, and all the people that are with him, rose up early and peed beside the well of Anod, so that the most of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Morel in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hand. Lest Israel should vow themselves against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now, therefore, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people 22,000, and three remain, remain them 10,000. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are here too many. Bring them down onto the water. And I will try them for you there. And it shall be that whom I shall say unto you, These shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I shall say unto thee, These shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lapped of the water with his tongue, as a dog lapped, him shall thou said by himself. Likewise, everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink. Verse 6. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were 
300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down their knees to drink water. The last verse. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lappeth, will I save you and deliver the Midianite into thy hand and let all the other people go every man to, unto their houses. Go back home. What's the prayer here? You are going to pray that faithful few that will not waste your time. The Lord will link them with you. Amen. Faithful what? Your bad people normally says, want you want to call any? A little bit again. Meaning that it's not that the whole mouth is full of teeth that you continue to rejoice. Mm -mm. It is the one that can cut meat. That's the one you call teeth. Others are just decoration. In life, until you meet this faithful few, so many things are disturbed. So you are going to pray that you will not waste your time on wrong people in life. Help me to get the faithful few. That will allow my dream and my vision to come to pass. You are going to pray that prayer for everyone that loves your progress in life. That the Lord will link them up with the right people. Link me up with the right people. Link me up to the right places. Link me up with the right thing. And let my testimony be mature early. Are you praying? My brother, this is key. This is wonderful. Yes. Glory to God. Just pray that the Lord Almighty will do it. Lord, this faithful few, this chosen few, Lord, link my life with them. I don't know who they are. Give me understanding of who they are. Lord, so I don't waste my time for things that will not come. So I don't burn myself down. Many people do not know the mystery behind this prayer. They do not know somebody can live 50 years on earth and there is nobody can look up to to be faithful. And everything you do, just go to bottomless pit and continue to fill the pit that can never be filled up. Burning your energy to things that does not matter. But you are going to pray that the Lord Almighty will network you to the right people. Network my destiny. I hope you are praying. You understand what they call networking. In computer, you know what they call networking. Network my life, network my business, network my children to the right. Faithful people, Lord, don't permit me to expire. I must not expire. Oh, Lord, network my life. Be sure you are praying. Let's pray for this nation. That the Lord Almighty will network our nation. Network our nation aright. To the glory of God the Father. To the glory of God the Son. To the glory of God the Holy Spirit. Our nation will not collapse. The grace of God will raise us higher and better and brighter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who should go home. Lord, send them back home. So that the story can be meaningful. Those who must go home. That your matter may have meaning. Can you open your mouth and pray? He says, let them go back home. Yes. The other people, go. Every man to his place. You are going to pray those who must need to go back. To their place, let them go. So that your matter may have meaning. Those who must need to go home. Let them go. So that the purpose of God for your life may be fulfilled. Are you praying? Everything that must need to go home. So that your life might be able to bring up flowery resort beautiful resort amazing resort let them go so your life can shine enough of just marching on the same spot lord help me out god says i will help you gideon help me lord help me lord help me lord can you pray that the almighty god will help you sir you are not going to expire I am announcing from this altar of God, you will not expire. Those who must need to go home, we go home. You must show up. Your testimony must be great enough. Enough of complaining. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus special name we have prayed daddy thank you very much you have done everything in a beautiful way our prayers are solid we believe you a great divine intelligence ruling majesty over the physical time who can take who can give who can sponsor who can protect Jehovah, we praise you. Therefore, today, all we are saying is that those who must need to go home. Father, let them begin to go. So that the story of our year's effort might be able to come up. In the day that King Uzziah died, <laughs> Isaiah saw the glory of God. I pray in the name of Jesus concerning our effort in life. Those who must need to go home so that our testimony may be meaningful. Father, we give them mercy killing. Let them go in the name of Jesus. And I pray today in the name of Jesus. The judge of the whole earth will never do wrong. Therefore, on our matter, Every wrong thing that I've already amalgamated itself with us. Emotionally, socially, bodily, socially in, the, in, in our connections, in the name of Jesus, let them drop off. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Open our understanding better. In Jesus' adequate name, we have prayed. Shall we put our hands together to say thank you to Jesus forever? God bless you. Please, you may be seated. Today's sweet word for sweet people. Sweet is always sweet. Sweet cannot be bitter. May the sweet of God be your portion. May you be the sweet in the mouth of God. Because nobody throw away sweet, even children. In fact, research has shown that if you want to give children something, drug, and you want them to take, you must coat it with sugar. You don't cut it with sugar, they wouldn't allow you. But by the time you brand it with sugar, it tastes it, and it's sugar in their mouth. Quick, quick. They say, Mommy, give me more. But if they taste it, say, you and your husband, you are going to eat that one. And so today, it is a story for everyone. When heaven nominates you, is the title. When heaven does what? Nominate you you understand from the beginning of my comment we are not talking that there are three heavens immediate sky which is the first heaven there is another one that is called second heaven abode of satanists the occultists and the witches and wizards and then the third heaven where the king of kings and the lord of lords the great elohim resides now, when we talk about heaven nomination, it takes place at the third heaven. So, I'm talking about the third heaven. Is that clear enough? Because some of you have been nominated and you are afraid. Fear not. I'll tell you what will happen in your story. Jeremiah chapter 1. And I'm reading from verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4. He says, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I form you, in the belly i know you and before you came out of the womb i have dedicated you i sanctify you and i ordain thee a prophet unto the nations verse six then i said ah <laughs> i didn't know this about me oh madam there are some things you may never know until God causes you to know it. Sir, there are a volume of truth about a matter you may never in your stretch of imagination pick except God decide to make you know it. One of them is that you are a nominee of God. So, ah, are you sure? Because you came to the knowledge, saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who is the way not one out of many ways. 
the way. Because without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Three in one. The way to speak the truth and life is maintained. Because you have chosen the Lord as your savior, you have been chosen by God. You are not a recastrant. He says, ah, you will come to a point in your life that when you look at what God has made out of you, you say, ah, for good. He said, Lord God, I cannot speak for I'm a child. The rest is story. Praise the Lord. Now, the time to when God nominates you, it shows that God approves people. God nominates people. Who is your nominee? He can an anoint people, he can anoint individuals. Why do you think children of Israel have not been wiped out? Look at the last 11 day battle they fought. It was a different dimension of war entirely in their history. According to their prime minister then. Because those who wanted to fight them, they, they made bullets of different sizes to come on rapid successions. But the children of Israel, God was with them. He has given them vision ahead of time. And they had things that was intercepting those bombs. Intercepting it. Even though the thing was coming out in thousands. Let me decree from here. Nothing will succeed to terminate your glory. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long the enemy decides to give you long war, you will not be suppressed. Yeah. Are you saying amen to that? Yeah. Jeremiah, stop all those uh, canon statements about you. Your best days are not at your past, it's in your future. You remember Jesus when he was coming out of the water in Jordan? He said the heaven was open and the voice of the Lord came up and said, This is my nominee. May God open your understanding Amen. that God has chosen you for something glorious in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. You better listen to him. I nominated him. And before heaven nominates anybody, hey, he has looked at you, look at your emotions, look at your desire, look at your future, look at your aspiration. You know, there was a story of one pastor. Praise the Lord. Every day we pray, God, what do I do to you that you just allow my story to be like that? That nobody has ever given me money. And that eventually, after so long, somebody gave him 10 million. How much? As soon as he saw money, he said, eh? What is this? Ten million? He said, God has called me to business world. No more pastor. So whoever you want to appoint to be your pastor, you are free. Me, I'm going to America. That was how he abandoned people of God and ran to America. What was he doing? At the end of the day, he reduced himself to somebody who was doing uh, order. What is order? Security. And that was the end of the whole thing. He would have done well to wait for the method of God. Another one said, No, why are you not answering my prayer? He fasted, he prayed. Somebody just came up and gave him, I think it's about six million, according to the story. The pastor just came before everybody and said, um, I thought that God has uh, called me to be a pastor. Now he has given me another assignment to be a local government chairman. Therefore, appoint your own pastor for yourself. And he went to go and contest for election. Did he win? No. At the end of the day, to become pastor back, shame did not allow. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever want to alternate your progress in life, whatever want to shift you away from decency and dignity, that thing will expire before the expiry date. When heaven nominates you, you are stable. I decree stability upon your life. Whether you find yourself in the midst of trillions, you find yourself in the midst of multiple billions, you will never disappoint God. Are you saying amen to that? God does not choose 
everyone for the same reason, the same way. If he chooses you for something, he will stand by you. Sir, madam, there's something he has chosen you for. God is my witness. You will never be a reproach. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.26 says, look at your calling. Look at it. Look at your calling. May you see your calling. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. And it says in verse um, uh, uh, 27, it says, uh, God has chosen you foolish things to achieve greater results. Before this year runs out to the close, you are going to achieve greater results for the kingdom of God. I also decree today, before this year runs to the close, testimony that no other person in your lineage has ever broken into will be your portion. Say amen to that. Nominee of God. Sometimes you may not know, but something inside you will be saying, like one of the musical person in the kingdom of God today was saying, he told me by himself, he said, he never knew he could rise up to that point. He said, pastor, this is me today. When I told my parents I'm going to sing, they said, no, you cannot. He said, didn't you understand your name? Your name is Ebenezer. You cannot sing. You must be a lawyer. You must be something. But at the end of the day, he said, look at me today. He said, inside me, something has always announced to me, you are going to be great. And today is great. I hereby decree, wherever you are hearing me from, because the Lord Almighty has chosen you, no evil reducer will succeed over you. Because the Lord has chosen you, in the name of the Lord of Jehovah, evil one will crash under your feet. Nigeria is a chosen nation. Whatever want to crash this nation will go under. Are you saying amen to that? When heaven nominates you, you come up. You may face trouble. But Jesus says, many are the affliction of the righteous and the Lord deliver them out of them all. May the Lord deliver you. And Jesus says, in the world you, have, you are going to have many tribulations. But cheer up, for I am with you. And as you step out from here, and wherever you are hearing me from, I decree from today, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be an overcomer. Amen. Choice of God never end up in failure. Amen. You are not going to end up in failure. Amen. Congratulations. You are not going to download, internalize all of this. That Lord, let all this prophetic declaration find a room in my destiny. Find a room in my family too many times when these things come seen there is no room you remember the boss of noah when he released the first one that one was flying all around it has no place until he return back you are going to pray that the prophecy of god will find place in this nation we find place in your family we find place upon those who love you those who believe in you, those who cannot withstand your failure, that the Lord Almighty, he will push them forward. Yes, pray that the prophecy of God will find fulfillment in your life. Yes, when others are giving testimonies, you will not just be clapping and appreciating God for their life. That your own testimony too will be part of the testimony. That the prophecy of God will find fulfillment in your destiny, in your destiny, the prophecy of God will find fulfillment. And the heaven will nominate you finally. Whatever is stopping your heaven, today the Lord will crush them. And you will be back with your testimony. Nothing will stop you from your fulfillment. Nothing will stop your glory from shining. Your destiny will come out from every obscurity in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. Yes, step forth your hand to our Father in the Lord that it's heaven that be open will never be shut. That it will continue to glow on a daily basis. He has been nominated by the heavens for an assignment that he will not fail in the assignment that God has granted him. That lecturer saw it and he said, I have seen it. 
tell the Lord what God has deposited in his life will not be covered by any power. That the heaven will come to shine in his ministry. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's bring out our offering. You want to speak to your seat? You want to speak to your seat? That the heaven will accept it. That your heaven will be opened. That nothing will shut your heaven again from today. Speak to your seat. Raise it up. Tell the Lord if you are putting the money online, please look at the look at the uh, account number that are being displayed online. And you do the needful. Tell the Lord to make heaven to accept your seat today. That you will not be rejected by the heavens. That your doors will be opened, your heavens will be opened. All short heavens will be opened today. You will not operate under a closed heaven again. Tell the Lord, I'm no longer going to operate under closed heaven. Yes, tell the Lord, my heavens are opened. My heavens are opened. My heavens are opened in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you drop your oven, please note that Jehovah Sir will be online on Friday, Bible study, 6 p.m. Join him. And Sunday, don't be late to church. The church is open. Don't be late. The grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.